would be shocked. I would be floored if there was an Eagle fan out there that actually thought Howie Roseman was done. Kick thing back here and let me first start off by saying happy 4th of July to all you dingbats out there. I hope each and every one of you guys is having a great, great day. 4th of July is here, Independence Day, brought to you by the greatest city in the world, Philadelphia, the birthplace of freedom. You hear that, Dallas? The birthplace of freedom. That's right, the real America's team right there. I salute you. I salute you, Burr fans. Yes, but happy 4th of July to each and every one of you guys. And if any of you think that Howie Roseman is done, I got a bridge I want to sell you. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled. Pause. Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for all the support you guys give to me. I, I truly hope that each and every one of you guys, even you Cowboy fans out there, even you Cowboy fans and Giant fans, all of us, I hope each and every one of you guys is having a wonderful holiday in all seriousness. Be safe. Have fun. Uh, today, for me, um, I, I'm just chilling. I'm just kind of uh, doing really a lot of nothing. You know, we, we had... Um, we were on vacation, then we got back, and I've just been ripping and running. Uh, so this is really the first day that I'm going to just kind of sit back and just enjoy the day. I think I, my wife went out and got a bunch of, like, fireworks. Now, out here in California, you can't have fireworks like if you were in Florida, like the real stuff. You know, the bangers, the stuff that I want to launch. It's all sparklers and stuff like that. No, the good stuff, you still can't get that here. At least I don't think you can. I don't know where to get it out here. But I do got a bunch of fireworks, so the kids kids will be lighting it off tonight, and you know, sparklers, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be uh, I'll be flying a drone. My wife's got a drone, so I want to fly the drone, record them, like you know, fireworks going off, and and then just like go straight up there and see if I can see all the fireworks around. That would be kind of cool. So that's what I'm doing tonight, just hanging out. I'm gonna watch one of my favorite Fourth of July movies. I consider it a Fourth of July movie. All right, this is crazy. You're, you're thinking Independence Day. I know you are. But I'm going to throw one at you. There's a kid movie from when I was younger. I'm going to throw one at you. Flight of the Navigator, baby. Flight of the Navigator was awesome. I love that movie. Yes. So I'm definitely going to be doing that, chilling out tonight. But I hope you guys have a great day, a safe day. Um, really, all of you guys, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Now, in this video, what I kind of want to talk about is, is an article I read, and, and it was on Bleacher Report, and they were talking about the top candidates ahead of the 2023 training camp, and they were talking about the Eagles' top trade candidates uh, ahead of camp, and talking about not who we could receive, but who, who we could possibly trade, um, and really, the first two guys on the list, I was like, totally like, yeah, that's fine, I, I can totally see that, that's a no-brainer, those are no-brainers. But the third one floored me. Like, it floored me, yo. Like, where did this come from? What? Really? And I'm like, oh, I have to talk about this because I don't know if I could see this happening or not. Uh, I, I can't, but I, I want to talk to you guys about this. So um, this is from Bleach Report. Uh, a guy, I guess the article is by Jack, Jake Real, Real, And uh, basically they're talking about the three candidates that the Eagles could possibly trade. The first two, like I said, are no-brainers. I'm going to go over those real quick. First one is Derek Barnett. I think this is the most likely guy that could get traded by the Eagles. I think this is going to happen. I think Barnett doesn't end up playing for the Eagles this year. I think he gets traded, unless you have injuries or something like that. But with guys like Yannick Nagagwe out there still, uh, I, think, I think trading Derek Barnett is something that I would definitely definitely do. What they said here was a uh, 2017 first round draft pick. Barnett has never quite lived up to expectations. The 27 year old notched 21 and a half sacks in 65 games over six seasons. He's also coming off a 2022 campaign in which he suffered a season ending uh, ACL tear. Um, 
Barnett won't be a starter on the Eagles' defense as they have Graham, Josh Sweat on, on the ends of their defensive line. They also have other solid pass rushers who can rotate in and out of the edges and would still be the case even if they didn't have Barnett. And, and the thing about it is, you know, I, I, you know then again, you, you also have Nolan Smith that's going to be coming off the edge. Uh, Derek Barnett's days are numbered. His days are numbered. He, he's got to go. That's just, that's just the reality of the situation. So I, I think that's the most likely case scenario is Derek Barnett goes. The second um, guy that they brought up as most likely to get traded by the Eagles was Quez Watkins, or as some of you guys call him, Quez Dropkins. Now, I, I'm not so so much sold on this. Uh, we did have reports about Quez Watkins possibly being moved. We've had that before that the Eagles were shopping him around. Here's a little bit of what they said. Um, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith will again be the two Eagles starting wide receivers, and it's possible Quez Watkins will be the third. But that's not a guarantee, especially if Philadelphia was to decide it may be time to part ways with the 25-year-old. Because Watkins is so young, other teams could value him pretty high. But he hasn't put up huge numbers over his first three NFL seasons with the Eagles. His numbers have... His numbers even dipped a bit last year when he had 33 catches for 354 yards and three touchdowns. Um, Oz was also 25, signed with the Philadelphia Eagles this offseason, and couldn't be a better fit with the team's offense. Now, I really think it's going to depend on Oz and, and you know how good he is coming into the Eagles as that third wide receiver, even even if Oz was to beat out Quez Watkins, you still need a fourth receiver. I still think you need a fourth receiver. So I don't. I, I'm 50-50 on this. The only way that I get rid of Quez Watkins, and I said this in previous videos, you have to go out there and you're going to have to get another receiver. You're going to have to sign a DeAndre Hopkins or somebody. Otherwise, I have no interest in it at all, at all. So I would, I would say I'm 50-50, and that leads me to the one that I really w wanted to talk about, right? And I've been building up, and, and th this, this shocked me. This shocked me. But the third most likely trade candidate, according to Bleacher Report, is, drum rolls please, there are no drum rolls, but it is Kenneth Gainwell, the professor, Professor Kenneth Gainwell. They have listed as the third most likely Eagle player to get traded. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. I don't think I understand this at all. Okay, but here's what they said. The Eagles have a crowded running back room headed into training camp. There are all-season acquisition, acquisitions of DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny, and there are also a pair of returning players in Gainwell and Ball Scott. Philadelphia runs the ball a lot, so it makes sense to have multiple backs to utilize. But having four could be one too many, especially if one of them could be traded to acquire either a solid player or a large position of need or a draft pick or two. Gainwell could be the best trade chip considering he's only 24 and he's a dual threat back. However, he's going to be blocked on the Eagles depth chart by Swift and Penny, who both should have sizable roles in the offense. While Philadelphia shouldn't give Gainwell away for nothing, it may be smart to shop him a bit and see what the market is like. Otherwise, he may not get a ton of opportunities to touch the ball in 2023. So they're saying that he's not going to get the ball a lot. He's got a lot of talent, and he's sitting there behind DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny. So why not try to trade him and get something? And, and part of that is this. You're not paying him anything, and he's only 24 years old. I I don't like this move. I mean, I mean, what what are you really going to get for for uh, Kenneth Gainwell? First of all, I mean, if you think about it, what would you get for him? Are you going to get a starting defensive player? Are you going to get a linebacker for him? Are you going to get a guy that's going to contribute a lot? I don't think you would. You would get like a late draft pick in 2025 or something like that. I don't see how this is worth it. I think the more likely scenario in this situation is that the Eagles would cut Rashad Penny. I think that would be the play or possibly trade him if, you know, there's a team that loses a running back in preseason or something like that and they want to go out and get him cheap. I mean, the Eagles are not paying their running backs a lot. To me, there is no reason to move Kenneth Gainwell. Plus, Kenneth Gainwell is only in his third year. He has gotten better. So you might want to give him a chance to see what he can do. Um, and he's, you know, to me, 
uh, trading Kenneth Gainwell is a lot like trading Chris Watkins, where you're not going to get enough in the return to really trade him. You're better off. I think he's more valuable and has more value as as a, a running back, th third running back, or Quez Watkins even, the third wide receiver. You're just not going to get enough for him. You might get more for Rashad Penny. I think the most likely case scenario, and my one of my predictions, and I've seen some other people say this, but I said this a, 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 about a week or two ago, I think that Rashad Penny could end up being the odd man out. He's the guy I could see because I think DeAndre Swift is going to come in and I think he's going to take over. And if he does and the Eagles are really happy with him and they're happy with Gainwell and Boston Scott, you know, and, and then, you know, uh, Trey Sermon, let's say he comes in and he shines and he, he, he plays good enough to take a spot. They may look and say, you know what? We've got to either cut Rashad Penny or trade him. And because he's not making a lot of money, because he's not making hardly anything, he may be the perfect guy for the Eagles to go out and get, uh, to be quite honest with you. So to me, I think, I think Rashad Penny is the most likely out. But this shocked me. I was shocked that they even had Kenneth Gainwell in there. Not because I think Gainwell's the greatest running back, but uh, I just don't see how you're going to get a lot of value. I mean, one, one of the things um, that the article says is Gainwell could be the best trade chip considering he's only 24 and is a dual threat. He's going to be blocked in the Eagles' depth chart by Swift and Penny. Um, where, where, where did I... I lost my spot. Damn it. Where did I say? Um, it said... Uh, Philip shouldn't give up a game well for nothing. It may be smart to shop him a bit and see what the market is. Um, but, you know, to think that you're going to get back potentially a player that can play uh, or start, I don't think you're going to get that with Gainwell. So I would move Rashad Penny before I would move Kenneth Gainwell. But uh, it's all going to depend on how camp goes. And I think also a lot on how Trey Sermon is going to do. I thought it was an interesting article. It was an interesting name. Kind of shocked me there. What are your thoughts? Would you even consider trading uh, Kenneth Gainwell? And if if so, for what? What do you think you could actually get for him? That's what I want to know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful 4th of July. I will... Uh, I will be, I, I do have another video I might put out. It's, it's, it's a bit for the older Eagle fans, but we'll see if I can finish editing today or not. Um, but otherwise, uh, with that said, take care. You guys enjoy your day. Don't be a dingbat. And remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. It's crazy because I was thinking about I was thinking about going out and seeing a movie today, you know, like during the day of Fourth of July, just for the hell of it, dude. The movie theater is packed. All they have is like you know those two seats up front, those two rows up front. That's all they have. I I'm not sitting there watching a movie like this. I what, you know what what do you want me to do? Like I'm looking at aliens come down from planet, watching God come down from the clouds. Like I'm not sitting like that to watch a movie. That's like the worst feeling ever. So I guess I could forget going to a movie today. But I'm definitely gonna go to a movie tomorrow. Denzel Washington out.